Hi Alto Saxophones, thanks again for joining us for another video. Today we're in our Accent Book 1, page number 16. On page number 16, we've got the term Ritardando and its abbreviation RIT, and that means to gradually slow down in tempo. Next to that, we've got the symbol and the term fermata. That's a half circle with a dot. That means to hold that note longer when you come to it. And finally, pickup notes. Pickup notes are notes that come before the first full measure of a song. We'll get lots of practice with our pickup notes in today's page. Let's get started. Number 51, patterns with pickups. Now, to get us started, and to get us doing the pickup correctly, I'm going to count like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Then we begin playing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. slurs. And how about those dotted quarter notes? If you made any mistakes at all, I would say go back and play that exercise again, at least one more time, but maybe two for good measure. Next up is Carnival of Venice. This Italian folk song still has a pickup note in its beginning, but it's a little bit different than number 54 because we're in 3-4 time. So, I'll count us in like this. One, two, three, one, two. Then we'll play after two. One, two, three, one, two. St. Nicholas, my favorite song on this page. It's in 2-4 time and uses a lot of our eighth notes. One and two and, one and two and. Join me for the traditional carol, Jolly Old St. Nicholas. One and two and, ready, set, go. <laughs> Snake Charmer, another great song. Notice the last note of Snake Charmer has a fermata above it. We'll hold that note A out a little bit longer. Leading up to that note, we have an RIT, Ritardando. That means we'll gradually slow down just a bit before we play that last note. And finally, notice that the Snake Charmer starts with pickup notes, pickup eighth notes to be in fact. 
I'll count one, two, three, and then we'll play those eighth note pickups. Let's do it. One, two, three. note out just a little bit. Finally, or next to finally, we've got Bill Grogan's Goat, an American folk song with a kind of a funny title. This piece has three pickup notes. To start, I'll count one, two, three, four, one, and then we'll begin playing. Also, Bill Grogan's Goat has a key signature that has F sharp, and C sharps. So all of the C's will be C sharp, like we did on page 15. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, one. final exercise today, we've got Accent on Alto Saxophone. This was designed just for the alto sax, and let's give it a try. Watch out for those slurs and the occasional C sharp. One and two and three and play. <laughs> and fix them if you need to. Or pause and practice on your own for a moment. If you like what we just played there and you want more individual technique practice, check out page 42, number three and number four. They're extra exercises to help you grow on your individual technique. So I hope this was helpful and I hope you've enjoyed this video and will use it again and again if you need to. Until I see you next time, keep practicing.